Alright you guys, we're going to do 1997, a movie for every year of my life. 1997 was known for having a lot of crappy films from that year. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean a lot of crappy films. So, I have 32 or 33 titles depending on how this goes. So let's get started. In that number 32, we have... Alien Resurrection. This movie sucked. Let's move on. 31. We have Turbulence. I love Turbulence. Ray Liotta was awesome. Lauren Holly is another underrated actress that we don't see no more. I don't know why. So I don't know what she's doing right now, but they need to put her on more stuff before she gets older. <laughs> 30. Titanic. Most overrated movie I've ever seen. It's not the best, but it was watchable. 29. The remake of That Darn Cat. I love that film so much. Has so much to do with my childhood. It's not even funny. 28. Vegas Vacation. Oh yeah. I love me some Vegas Vacation. And it comes on Blu-ray next month. And the re-release of, Ve of Vacation. So I'm going to give away my old copy of Vacation pretty soon. Because their re-release is coming out next month. And Vegas Vacation will finally hit Blu-ray. So, all I will need is European Vacation. And I'll have the complete set. 27, Spice World. Yeah, saw that when I was a kid. My girl, my, my girlfriend, my cousin, she has the video. So, we watched it at her house. It was enjoyable. I like some of the songs in the Spice Girls, but... Not all of them. 26. Speed 2 Cruise Control. It sads me that I had to put down my list, but I seen it, so it's on that list. 25. Spawn. Um, from what I remember seeing this movie, it was okay. It was kind of weird and cheesy. I guess that was the point. What confused me is, I don't know if it was PG-13 or if it was R-rated. So, if Spawn was R-rated when it came out, let me know because, I don't know. It's like it was two different movies or something. I'm not sure. 24. Selena. I remember watching Selena on TV before. I remember I knew about the singer. I knew she was alive. But I didn't know she was dead until I watched this movie. I'm like, when the hell did she get killed? And I looked it up on the internet and I was like, holy crap. I completely missed that. I didn't see no news coverage or nothing. I seen news coverage about a lot of things. Waco, fucking 9-11. I did not see the, even the death of a president. Funeral. Never seen anything about Selena. What the hell? 23. Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. Best comedy of the 90s. Man, come on. That and Night at the Roxbury? Come on. You know I'm talking about Will Ferrell. Yeah, enough that. 22. Nothing to lose. Martin Lawrence and uh, Tim Robbins. Good comedy. 21. Money Talks. Chris Tucker. Underrated. Charlie Sheen. Don't like him, but he was okay in this movie. Only because Chris Tucker saved his ass. <laughs> 20. Men in Black. Yeah, it was a good film. Tommy Lee Jones is awesome. Will Smith is kind of bullshit now, so I won't say nothing much about him. 19. The Jackal. A lot of people gave this movie crap. Even the critics gave this movie crap, but it was a good film. I liked it. My cousin does, too. It was because of my cousin that I seen it. 18. Liar Liar. Where's the Blu-ray? I want to see Liar Liar on Blu-ray, damn it. <laughs> 17. I know what you did last summer. I can't wait to get this one on Blu-ray. Sequel sucked, but the first one was awesome. 16. Oh. Home Alone 3. I know. That'll be my stupid movie of the week pretty soon. Moving on. 15. Good Burger. Good childhood movie right there. Based on a little skit, the Good Burger skit from all that. Shit. 
need to put all that on Blu-ray. And Key and the Cow. And, and Good Burger. And an orange Blu-ray case. 14. The Fifth Element. I've seen this movie only once. I liked it. I don't know why I never saw it again. I don't know why I never bought it on Blu-ray. Oh, yes, right. I never found it on Blu-ray. I never find it for a good price on Best Buy. Maybe Best Buy will have it for the upgrade and save. We shall see. For I mean, I already did 14. 13. Hercules. I love this movie. It's a Disney movie from the 90s. I loved it. Where's the Blu-ray? 12. I just brought my gun. What? It should be fun. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about gross point blank, people. That's a good comedy. John Cusack is awesome. Even he's an underrated actor. I don't know why he'll get that much work today. But, yeah. 10. The top 10 now. Chasing Amy. Come on. 9. Volcano. Now I know what you're thinking. What is Volcano at number 9? Because I enjoyed it. <laughs> 8. Face Off. I can't wait to get the still book next month. Finally, I'm going to get Face Off on the still book. Yeah. 7. Austin Powers. International Man of Mystery. Yeah. Can't wait for the fourth one. 6. Anastasia. Good. Good film. Oh, wait a minute. I skipped 11. Ooh. 11 is Dante's Peak. My fault. I forgot to say Dante's Peak. I like Dante's Peak. You got James Bond and Sarah Connor in the same movie. Yeah. Now fast forward. <laughs> Number five. Con Air. Come on. The best Nicolas Cage movie ever. Until National Treasure came out. Well, second, second best, because Face Off, psh, that's a given. Uh, four, Air Force One. Yeah, baby. Love me some Air Force One. Now, I know this came out in the 70s and the 80s, but they re-released it and that's, as a trilogy, so I'm putting it down, because it's just badass. Number three, the Star Wars trilogy. Yeah. Yeah, special edition, baby. Awesome. Number two, Tomorrow Never Dies. I like Tomorrow Never Dies. I don't love it as I do The World's Not Enough, but it was a good film. And number one on this list, The Lost World, a Jurassic Park. You gotta love some Lost World, my friends. Great, great stuff. Lost World is the most underrated sequel ever. I don't know why people don't like The Lost World much, but I don't know. So yeah, those are my films of 1997. That is my 10th anniversary, turn 10, and one of the crappiest years for movies I have ever seen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know what your list is down below for 97, and I'll see y'all later.